Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you a comparison between the very first generation iPad, the second gen iPad, and the brand new iPad that was just recently released. Now, in all of these shots, the iPad 3 or the new iPad is on the bottom, iPad 2 in the middle, and the fat boy of the bunch, the iPad 1, on the top. And over the years, things have remained primarily the same. The control positions, even the speaker positions, have all remained pretty much constant throughout. The main thing that has changed is with the iPad 2 and the new iPad, things got a lot slimmer and a lot more curvy. But overall, the actual functionality has indeed remained the same. Now, the biggest talked about feature in the new iPad is, of course, the retina display. You can see the iPad 1 on the left, iPad 2 in the middle, and the super fine display of the new iPad on the right. But you're not really going to notice the difference unless you hold it up really close to your face. Now, moving on to this handsome guy, you can see that all three iPads display photos really nicely indeed. The color reproduction is very accurate, with the new iPad probably looking a tiny bit warmer in the color reproduction than previous generations. The actual responsiveness of all of the devices, especially when doing things like pinch to zoom, are primarily the same. The actual clarity of the screens, as you can see, the iPad 2 a lot brighter, and the iPad 3 resolving a tiny bit more detail when viewing back photos. Now we're going to take a brief look at sort of performance and this is just launching a very simple game. You can see the new iPad on the right loaded super quick with the iPad 2 just milliseconds behind and the iPad 1 a little bit slower than the other two. And now we're going to do some website browsing. This is looking at the Geekanoids website which is very video intensive. It's got lots of my videos embedded into the website. And you can see that the new iPad on the right has finished, so very quick performance indeed. The iPad 2 in the middle, almost there, just coming up to finishing loading the website, and it is now indeed finished. And we are still waiting for the first generation to finish loading the page. And we are still waiting. Another five to 10 seconds has passed, and the iPad 1 is still loading the page, and we are still waiting. Is it ever going to finish? Will I bore you with waiting? Well, take my word for it, it did load about five seconds after finishing this clip. So let's take a look at the physical differences again. The dot connectors have all remained central along the short edge, with just the color changing. On the first gen it was white and it's changed to black on the later generations. The sleep wake button, the lock rotation switch and the volume rocker have all remained pretty much in the same position. Speaker placement, well to be honest, I actually preferred the speaker placement on the first generation iPad, although this new iPad does have a lot crisper sound to it. On the back, the first gen didn't have a camera, the second generation iPad had a lousy camera, and this new iPad at least does have a decent 5 megapixel camera on the back. And in closing, would I say you should go for this new iPad? Well, I will keep you in suspense until my full review, but I hasten to say that the new iPad is an awesome device, and I'm sure if you purchase one, you will thoroughly enjoy it.